I have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 here. I'm going to show you how to copy your photos and videos directly from your Flip 3 to a Apple computer, MacBook, or iMac using the charging cable and without using iTunes. Now this is the easiest way for me to transfer uh, photos and videos to my MacBook. Um, first thing is, and this is the easiest way that I've been doing for like five, six years now, okay? So first thing is download this file, uh, Android file transfer. It's free. Go ahead and download that, install it, and it's going to go ahead and just appear like little um, Android green robot guy right here. Now, the only thing you got to do is plug in your phone and you can drag and drop. It pretty much becomes like a Windows computer, okay? But however, before we get to there, uh, one thing to note is with the um, charging cable that comes with your Flip 3, it's a USB-C to USB-C. The thing is, I don't have a USB-C port on my MacBook. So one of my options is I can use one of my little adapters here. It's a USB-A to a USB-C. I can pop that on here and I'll put a link um, in the description. These are very inexpensive. Or my other option is just get one of my other old cables that's a USB-A to a USB-C. Okay, so let me go ahead and plug this in to my USB port. And now let me go ahead and grab my phone and I'll plug this in. Now, let me go ahead and log in. So I'll log in. Now you should get a message here and it says allow access to um, phone data. Tap on allow right there. And now, let me just click on okay there. Okay, if it disappears like that when you click on okay, just tap the little Android green guy again. So let's go ahead and click on that. And now all your photos and videos are in your DCIM folder. Let me zoom in a little bit. Your DCIM folder, just double click on that. And I have screen recordings and I have camera up here. So let me double click on camera and you can see some photos and videos. I know they're photos if it has a JPG, a JPEG extension. I know it's a video if it has an MP4 extension, okay? So from here, you can drag and drop as, as well. You can drag it right, drop one, uh, drop a photo right onto the desktop like that. Or what I typically do is I'll just create a new folder here and oops. Okay, I'll just create a new folder here and then I can drag and drop whatever I want or I can go ahead and select the whole shebang, drag and drop into this like new folder I just created. Go ahead and let it copy. All right, it's all copied. I can go ahead and un take off or uh, unplug my phone. And now if I go to that folder I just made, double click on that and voila and then from here I can save it to my hard drive I can email it I can edit these photos and videos and whatnot so pretty simple uh, any questions or issues just uh, comment below all right good luck